coming at you we talking about major league baseball the show the world series man um game seven just ended <clears throat> great game classic game you know what i mean um i had tweeted out i was like the series itself wasn't that it wasn't the best i've seen you know what i mean i thought the 2014 world series was better giants royals seven game series um i thought 2000 uh, 2013 world series was better Red Sox, Cardinals, uh, competitive. You know, it, it went six games, but I thought the series overall was better. But Game Seven made up for it. <laughs> game Seven was incredible, man. Except for the rain delay. Um, great game, <laughs> great game. And uh, in, in my prediction video, uh, I, I picked the Cubs winning seven on the road. Uh, speaking of that, I I can't be the only one who. Who doesn't like how an exhibition? I said this before, an exhibition game, the All Star game, determines home field in the World Series. I mean, are you, are you serious? You know what I'm saying? I can't be the only one. That's stupid, man. The Cubs won nine more games in the regular season than the Indians, but they had to play Game Seven on the road. They won it now. But you don't think they would have won? Had to play that at Wrigley? <laughs> Get rid of that, man. Anyway. Man, great series, great game. The series itself, you know, it was okay. Uh, I, I picked the main reason why I picked the series to go seven was because of the Indians. I knew the Cubs were more talented, but I knew the Indians pitching. You know, when you shut down the Red Sox in the LDS and the Blue Jays in the LCS, you got some legit pitching. <laughs> Their pitching is legit, man. And if the pitching gets healthy, was it Carrasco, I think? Uh, Salazar, I believe. If the pitching get healthy, get Michael Brantley back. The Indians could be, because now David Ortiz is retired. The Indians could be right back here next year. Jose Bautista, I believe he's a free agent. I, believe, I could be wrong. The Blue Jays may not bring him back. You know, you're losing the LCS two years in a row. That might be as far as they can get, you know. Uh, the, the AL could be wide open. Maybe the or I don't know. But uh, congratulations to the uh, Indians and the Cubs for getting this far. But big ups to the Chicago Cubs fans in over 100 years. They finally win the chip, you know what I mean, the World Series, man. And uh, just game seven was crazy. The Cubs, I mean, Dexter Fowler, you know what I mean, his bat showed up tonight. Him and uh, Jason Hayward struggled. Jason Hayward still struggled. <laughs> they struggled. Fowler led it off with a, you know, a leadoff home run, straightaway center field in the first inning. The Cubs and uh, the Indians tied it up 1-1, and the Cubs jumped out 5-1. I said, this is over. But it was like 4th to 5th inning. I said, man, it's got a lot of games up to be played here now. And sure enough, you know, the Indians on a wild pitch got it 5-3, to three, you know. I think David Ross did a home run for the Cubs, 6-3. to three. The Indians tied it up at 6-6 six to six with Rajay Davis in the 8th inning. And crazy. Crazy game, man. The place was rocking. LeBron was there. I thought LeBron was a Yankees fan, but anyway, um, <laughs> I love Joe Madden. I'm, I'm happy for Joe Madden. I'm a Tampa Bay Rays fan, and uh, Joe Madden you know, was our manager for eight, eight seasons, nine seasons. Um, went to, we made to, we made it to the playoffs four, I think four times. Uh, we won, we won the pennant. Uh, we lost the 08 World Series. So I, I've always said I wonder what Joe Madden could do with a franchise who's able to spend money. And this is what you get, you get a chip. <laughs> you get back-to-back -back LCS and you get a chip. And you know, I'm happy for Joe, I'm happy. I know I know Ben Zobris won, won the World Series last year with the Royals. He won MVP this year, congrats to Ben Zobris, uh, World Series MVP. Um, just, he was with the Rays. When he was with the Rays, a solid player. He played every position for the Rays, except pitcher and catcher, did it all. <laughs> Happy for those guys. Uh, I, I I do think Joe Madden used a role as Chapman a little bit too much. I know the Cubs bullpen was a little bit of a question mark. I thought the Indians had an advantage there, especially with Andrew Miller with uh, with Allen. You know what I mean? Uh, I think I think it was like Salazar came out of the pen. I knew they had an advantage there, and it was like a role as Chapman by himself had to equal all those guys did. 
I was like, Joe, man, you putting too much on it. You putting too much on him, you know. Um, they gave up the two-run home run of Rajay Davis in the bottom of the eighth to tie the game up at six. He threw a lot of pitches in his inning. I mean, in his series, I was like, man, it might be asking too much for him. I thought his arm might fall off, you know what I mean? But hey, you know he he did what he did, had to do for his team, you know what I mean? So game set, it was a great game, man. Just the Cubs are just too talented. And we look at the roster, and we look at the age of these players. This Cubs team ain't going nowhere in, anytime soon. I believe, like, um, Baez, you know, he, his bat was, he was hot LDS, LCS. His bat cooled off in uh, the World Series. Hit a solo home run tonight, though. Um, plays great second base, even though he had two errors. <laughs> you know what I mean? In the game seven, he played a great second base. But him, Chris Bryant, I think Addison Russell, um, maybe even Jorge Soler, I believe. Those guys are like 25 years old and younger. Young team. Then you got like um, Jason Hayward, Rodis Chapman, Anthony Rizzo. They're like 28 years old and younger. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you still got Lester and Arietta, you know what I mean? Guys like that pitching. They'll probably try out. Because a team like this, that young, there's no doubt they're going to attract free agents. Free agents, are, are, they're going to want to go play with this team. This Cubs team could have a dynasty here. You know what I mean? No doubt. Um, I just thought they, the talent was just too much. Indians, you know, they had a great run. They fought hard. They compete. Uh, I, I just thought their offense would be good enough. Their offense would I mean, they score seven runs. Their offense is good. You know what I mean? I just thought their pitching, their pitching was what would carry them. I thought it would go seven games. I never would have thought either team would have been up three games to one. Like the Indians were, the Cubs had to win three straight, two on the road. Even though they, sh I think they should have had home field, but whatever. Um, just a great series, maybe a great game, great game. I don't think the series was that great, but Game Seven was incredible. That's the type. Of, that's the type of way you want the season to end. You know what I mean? Game Game Seven of the World Series. That that was a great game, man. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the Indians played their butts off. Nobody really expected them. I picked them to lose in LDS to the Red Sox. I picked them to lose in LCS to the Blue Jays. Uh, the Cubs were the cl clearly favorite to win this series, which they did. Uh, they had to go earn it now. <laughs> and this, this Indians team, they're, they're for real, man. They, they they come out to play. They compete. I like Terry and respect for Terry Francona as a manager. He has his guys playing hard. I mean, they get Brantley back. Man, this could be a World Series rematch next year. You know, man, I, I don't, I don't, I think the American League is wide open. You know, um, I, but yeah, but congratulations to the Chicago Cubs, man. Um, the Cubs are gonna be good for for a while. <laughs> uh, Theo finally, finally got that chip. Theo, I mean, Theo, you no, know, he he's doing his thing as an executive. Theo Epstein, man, he, he he's putting together some good teams, man. A good mix of young players and veterans. Uh, things like that, they're, they're, they're going to be here for a while. They're the type of team that's deep enough to sustain key injuries for a long period of time. I mean, Kyle Schwarber only had what? And I know it was less than 10 at best during the regular season. He comes back in the World Series, and I, I mean, you're doing his thing. I, I knew because he wasn't medically cleared to play the field in games 3, 4, and 5 at Wrigley. I said they may miss his bat in the lineup at Wrigley. And sure enough, they lost two of three at Wrigley Field, and they down three games to one. You know, uh, that was an incredible story, the Kyle Schwarber story. But and they still won 103 games, still won the World Series. You know, uh, I think Chris Bryant's probably going to MVP. I mean, Bryant showed up, Rizzo showed up. I mean, and guys like Jason Hayward struggle, but they have the talent and deep enough to they can just win and sustain uh, the offensive production without – those guys, you know, but congrats to the Cubs, man. Um, it's too bad the season ends tonight, but if it does end, that's a great way for it to go out. Cubs win the World Series 2016. They win game seven, eight to seven. Uh, the Indians had a good year. People cut them, I mean, doubted them all year long, things like that. But that's just the one thing I can say about this, I, I think Joe Madden used a role as Chapman a little bit too much. Uh, I think that um, they may need to go address their bullpen in the offseason. 
And um, but other than that, man, this Cubs team, they're they're solid, man. They're they're a solid group. They should have Kyle Schwarber for the whole year. He's probably still doing a little rehab during the offseason. Have him for the whole year, man. As of right, unless there's a huge free agent move, maybe Batista goes somewhere, something like that. They, they're going to be the favorites again in 2017. And maybe even 18. <laughs> they're not going anywhere, man. Um, but let me know what you guys think, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. What you guys thought about the game, the series. Congrats to the um, Chicago Cubs. It's been over 100 years since 1908. You know what I mean? Uh, they won a pennant in 45, but the last time they won a chip was 1908, man. Just incredible. Uh, I think the Cubs may need to address their pin. Indians upgrade their lineup. Maybe try and go after Jose Bautista. I, I believe he's a free agent. I think Elvin Encarnacion for the Blue Jays is a free agent as well. You know, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Man, there's not really much to say, man. I mean, the okay, only thing that really surprised me is that one that either team, either the Cubs or the Indians, either team was up three games to one. You know what I mean? Um, Andrew Miller was incredible. You know what I mean? He was he was huge. He 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 was big time, man, for the for the Indians. Uh, I said my only thing is I think I wrote this Chapman was used too much. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna make a video too long. Congrats to the uh, Chicago Cubs. Um, great 2016 season. Um, they won it in seven. The game seven was incredible. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff, man. Just a great game, man. <laughs> great game. This your boy, The Real McCoy, man. I'm out. Peace.